Hello guys, welcome to the next pattern MCQs and this is your question number 3. Now here we have got a 29 year old woman, okay, migraine, having a migraine headaches for the several years. So they are kind of um, giving you the diagnosis but nevertheless always remember that you have to infer your own diagnosis from the question and it could be one of the DDs also. So don't take it for 100% that this is migraine only before confirming, right. Now she recently developed flashing light towards the right that also affects our peripheral vision. Now do you uh, believe that vision would be affected in cases of migraine? Will you get the flashing lights in cases of migraine? Yeah, we could get an aura. Okay, but if I talk um, in the great sense, uh, the flashing lights, exactly I won't get those flashing lights, okay. Rather, a patient who has migraine has a difficulty from seeing the bright sources of light. They develop the aura, they start developing the episode of migraine as headache when they uh, see those bright sources of light, flashes of light are there. And then are you expecting the vision loss in this patient? So I want to know uh, if really there is a vision loss in this patient or patient is perceiving something else. Okay, her automated perimetry was done and uh, they have shown you the perimetric finding and then they are asking what should be the next step. So let's look at this uh, perimetry. What is this? Now before you can comment on that what is the finding here. If you remember I had shared a few days back one print, um, one video regarding how to read the printout of the Humphreys field analyzer. So let's have a quick review of that. So this is your uh, printout, okay. This is not of the same patient. I am giving you an uh, example how to read it. So can you see how will you know that which side it is. So I told you that you have to consider this printout as if it is your field. So my right hand side will be the right side. This will be the right eye field and this will be right side and my left hand side will be the left side. So very uh, easily you would come to know that which side it is. So this is the right side, this is the left side. So now on this basis if you look at uh, this printout it would be very very easy for me to find out which eye it is and which side it is. So this will be my right eye field and this will be my left eye field. Okay. So what will happen? The uh, if you look at the sides, so this will be the right side. Is this visible to you? This is your right side of the right eye, and this is your left side. This is the right side, and this is the left side. So, very quickly, can you see in both the eyes, the right side of the eyes are affected? So, what is this called as? We can call it as the right homonemus. So this will be called as right homonemus hemianopia because uh, the whole of the part is not affected but exactly same areas of both the eyes are affected. So uh, not totally hemianopia but yes it is homonemus and which side it is affected? The right side is affected. So what it could be? It is something which is uh, causing the flashes of light also which is affecting the vision also and which will cause the headache. So three things I have to consider here. One is the headache then we have got the flashing light and we have the peripheral vision loss. So what are the things that I am going to think? So this kind of things could be due to the cerebral arteriovenous malformations. It could be this also AV malformations or even the cerebral tumors. Even tumors can lead to headache that could simulate the migraine and even the AV malformations could be there and obviously these malformations and these tumors will uh, compress the fibers and they are going to cause a visual field effect. Okay, so on this behalf I am going to read the options what you are going to do. Uh, are you interested in cerebral um, MRI or you have to discontinue the oral contraceptives, you have to give the sumatriptan or you should do the tangent screening.
Now see, why they are talking about the discontinuing of the oral contraceptives or the sumatriptan because they are related with the migraine and they are already confusing you with the diagnosis of migraine, right? So uh, I do not know whether it's migraine or not. So how can I say that you should discontinue the oral contraceptives? How can I say it's that sumatriptan? So first confirm the diagnosis. I will say first confirm the diagnosis, then talk about uh, stopping the oral contraceptives, then talk about the sumatriptan because sumatriptan is a good anti-migraine drug I can give but I have to confirm the diagnosis so what I am going to use for confirming the diagnosis I will be using the cerebral MRI and that is why the next step of management see this is not the best one they are just asking you what is, should be the next step so the next step that should be done is the cerebral MRI now what about the tangent screen? Tangent screen is done if uh, we suspect the malignaring. If I suspect the malignaring then in those cases I can do the uh, gerund's tangent screening also. So what uh, we have tried to learn from this particular question first of all a very important dictum never take the diagnosis given in the question as it is. Number two, always read the final line very carefully whether they are asking you the next step or they are asking you the best step. Number three, how to read the Humphreys field analyzer. How do you come to know that <coughs> which eye it is or which side it is and number five how to approach the final answer. So I hope you have got uh, a great uh, clinical approach solving these kind of a questions because obviously these are the kind of questions that we are going to expect in the NEET 2021 as per the uh, upcoming session the next also. Thank you and happy ophthalmology.